What's the address of your emergency? 950 uh, West Peachy Street. Somebody just got hit out here. There's a guy who just got hit by a car. He literally killed me. Oh, my God. I was dead, literally dead. Exhale up, inhale down. For Vinny Lorendi. How's your shoulder feeling? You think we can get your arms up above your head today? Strength okay. isn't defined. Pull straight back. By the weights you pull or how fast you move, it's putting in the time every it all out. single deep breath, inhale and up. Day. You got 25 seconds on the clock and time. Beautiful. Vinny might as well live at the gym. Slow it down, Vinny. As he learns to move again. Good set. He has a plate in his left arm. He had surgery on his trachea. How long were we in bed for? He was in a coma. Two months in bed. For weeks. You don't remember anything about the accident? Nothing. Nothing. The active 31-year-old was walking through Midtown back in March when Atlanta police say he was struck by Jason Hardman. According to a police report obtained by CBS 46 Investigates, witnesses saw Hardman run a red light. Surveillance video shows what happened next. He just T-boned me and I hit his windshield and then I went flying. Next thing I knew, I woke up three weeks later in the hospital. Hardman was booked for driving drunk. An investigation found he was arrested only months earlier on similar charges. The report alleging he'd taken six medications, including Valium, before getting behind the wheel and crashing. The officer wrote he seemed unaware and uncaring the accident had occurred. Sadly. What happened to Vinny is not all that uncommon. Attorney Stephen Dermer says what's worse, Hardman was uninsured at the time of the crash. He did not have any automobile insurance, and people like Vinny are left holding the bag. We tried getting Hardman to talk to us. He referred me to his lawyer. I have spent thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of my own money. I'll be lucky if I see a quarter. CBS 46 Investigates has learned Hardman is active in his church. Staff members here say he sometimes teaches Sunday school. Online, he posts his coursework as he studies theology at Emory University. He even asked if anyone could help him land an internship at a Methodist church, writing, he's putting 2017 in God's hands. He's a hypocrite. I mean, literally, he just is a hypocrite. Vinny's message, start practicing what you preach. Recovery is so expensive, even with insurance. And being the victim, I'm the one that has to pay. As he waits for a trial date. Atlanta's becoming a very walking city. Vinny is changing the direction of his life. So we need to find a way to make these streets safer. Speaking out now on the dangers that can emerge from behind the wheel. I used to say I want my old life back, but right now I'm realizing I want to, I want to be the best version of myself.